Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. Think about a Thursday. What have I been thinking about? Well, it's pretty hard to live in a state that the gun laws are changing without thinking about it because when gun laws change, very seldom is it to the benefit of gun owners. Typically, it's an infringement upon the Second Amendment, an infraction upon the rights of gun owners. It, it puts them in a category similar to criminals because you are considered guilty before innocent, which is the exact opposite of how it's supposed to work. And that's what we're seeing. And oftentimes I hear, well, this isn't a Democrat or Republican issue. No, it's a Democrat issue. Whenever you get a fishbowl of liberals all gathered together in something we call the state's capital, their first order of business is gun control. It happens all over the country, and it has happened all over the country with this new year of 2024. What am I talking about? Well, in Michigan, the first thing they did, and they say, we will save lives. We, With this law, we will save lives. You will save nobody. Because you're not doing anything to protect people, but you're, you're certainly infringing. Red flag laws, that's the first one. You know, where somebody can make a anonymous claim, say this person's dangerous, this person said something they may not have said. A crime has never even been committed, yet they're going to get their guns taken away. Thousands of dollars to defend themselves, a bunch of undue stress, uh, uh, just chaos. There have been people who have been killed. Many people injured through red flag laws. Well, Michigan, they're doing it. Same thing with Minnesota. They're doing it there too. Also in Michigan, they're saying that we now had universal background checks. We've had pistol registration for years and years. Every time a pist pistol is transferred, paperwork has to be filled out and then submitted to the local law enforcement and goes on some big state database. Now they're doing it with long guns. I have contacted the Michigan State Police who run the Firearms Data Collection Department. They are so overwhelmed. Now they have to do similar with long guns. And even for an inheritance, every long gun transferred a background has to take place, a background check has to take place, and they say, well, we're going to save lives. Once again, you will save nobody. Joe Biden himself says, buy a shotgun. He didn't say, get your background checked before you do that because we know better. You don't know anything. These people who are making these laws really don't know much. They also have a, a safe storage law. That's a response from what happened in Oxford with the, the high school kid who got a hold of the gun and, and started shooting a bunch of people. that That's what took place there. They did eliminate the tax on safes and storage containers or anything that would, would help store a gun. I think people should do that anyways. It's called being a responsible gun owner. But you look at what's happening in California. California is like the model for gun control, yet they have some of the highest and most violent gun crime in the country. And they took it a step further. Their governor, Newsom, this blowhard liberal, decided that it was best to ban concealed carry in all public places. How outrageous is this? He's not saying we're going to put armed guards in all these public places so you won't have to worry about it. We will take care of it. They will take care of nothing. And no, they're not going to save lives. Public places, public transportation, parks, playgrounds. They said churches. They said uh, museums. Like you name it. Anywhere you walk out in the public, you are now banned in California from carrying a firearm. Even if you have a, a permit and background checks to get that permit, you are now banned. It's, it's unbelievable. In Washington, they extended the 10-day waiting period that was already in place for pistols to long guns. A 10-day waiting period is suggesting that you're so mad that you want to go get a firearm so you can go shoot somebody. Okay, you're so angry. They Many people call it's a cool-off period. You need to cool off. Well, what if your neighbor 
isn't cooling off and they're threatening you every day. In that instance, you need a firearm now. If you're, if you're seriously scared for your life. Now, it's easy for a politician to sit back and say, well, this is a, a cooling off period because they are surrounded by armed guards. Okay, everywhere you go, like a politician is surrounded by armed guards, but yet you and I shouldn't have that same type of security. So we look at that, we look at what's happening in Illinois where the, the Supreme Court wouldn't hear the case about assault rifle ban, like the, these horrible rifles that many of the manufacturers that produce these rifles are located in Illinois. It's going into effect, so it's unbelievable at the measures that these liberal politicians will go to make sure that you are restricted from your Second Amendment rights. They infringe upon it all the time. They say, well, it's not a Democrat or Republican issue. It's a safety issue. No, it's a Democratic issue. Liberals specifically, they are the ones that are always shooting their mouth off, pretending they know a lot about guns when they actually know very little. As soon as you hear a politician say, we will save lives, keep in mind this. They're not doing anything to make you or your neighbor or your loved ones safer. They only restrict. And that's what's happening. I think about it Thursday. I've been thinking a lot about it. And I've come up to the conclusion, I can't stand the state of Michigan anymore. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.